having a heck of a time trying to get to the bus station today to get to San Pedro de Atacama. We tried three Ubers, one canceled and the rest didn't show. And we are without taxi. However, this lady was kind enough to hook us up. <laughs> Hopefully you get here too. When's it coming? Soon. Hopefully we make it to the bus station. It all worked out. We got a cab. Thanks to that lady. <laughs> Made it to the bus station. Is it in the channel? Huh? Want to be in the channel? Yes. This is Isabel's brother. <laughs> Isabel's I'm mom. Family. Uh, we, have, we have guests again. It's just guests. It's a new family. It's, it's not just me and Isabel this time. <laughs> So we take this bus to Santiago, rest for the night, and then fly to Colombo. Time to get that car rental. Yes. We finally made it! Yay! And now, because we were four people, we just uh, rented a car, which is perfect because we don't have now all that whole situation in Iceland. Mi mamá, primera vez saliendo de un aeropuerto después de un avión. ¿Cierto, mamá? ¿Cierto? Muy lindo. No, very muy lindo. Very muy lindo. Yo te voy a grabar igual, porque este es el primer viaje que hacemos juntas. No, just sí. eso. But your foot has to be on the brake. Esas son las emociones. Sí. Del primer vuelo con mis hijos. Eso fue lo que agradecí a Dios y a ustedes. Ah. Oh. Oh. De ver toda esa la sensación de, del primer del primer vuelo. Eso. Ay, oh, como que se va a caer la lucera. I'm doing a documentary on my mom's trip. Ah. Sí, que she's telling me stuff too. So, oh, and y lloró un poquito en el avión. Is it cool? Sí, sí, yo sí. sí. San Pedro, here we go. All right, Ooh. first to the grocery store because we are really hungry. <laughs> morning from San Pedro de Atacama. Today's gonna be an exciting day. Where are we going? Uh, the Salt Flats. The Flamingo, Flamingo Reserve. Flamingo Reserve and, and the Salt Flats. Yeah, exactly. There's a few there. Whatever else we find. Flamingo Reserve. 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 La Reserva, La Reserva de, de los Flamingos. Yeah. Okay. And this is our cabin rental. Let's do a little tour. This is the kitchen. Little fridge, stove, the door. This is with the oh wow, it's really bright. And it comes with two rooms. Ours, Renato. Hi. Our driver. <laughs> and this is the outside here. This is our car rental. A Nissan Xterra. And this is the backyard.
So it's going to take us about an hour to get to the uh, Flamingo Reserve from San Pedro de Atacama. And this trip we're taking is three days. So three days of checking out with this unique part. Four days? Kalama. It's four full days. Ah, uh, County Kalama. Four full days. Here, and then the same day we have to leave. And we'll be checking out all the cool stuff they have uh, in this area. Yeah. Okay. Starting off with the Flamingo Reserve. And just for this time, 2022, January, Moon Valley still closed. Oh, yeah. Because that's the attraction that brings a lot of people and that's why they don't want everyone there, even though it's an open space. But. Yeah, it's pretty much the top attraction in the San Pedro de Atacama area. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances, they have shut it down. But we will find lots, lots more to do. Starting off with the flamingos and then, um, I'm not sure, the geysers, several salt flats to see here, maybe a hike. Definitely gonna do some sunrise photography. Sorry, sunset photography. And such. Anything else before we hit the road? No, I think that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's hit the road. on the highway, stopped the car way out there and ran into these incredible alpaca. They're all over the place as you can see. Got the volcano in the distance there. There they are, they're just grazing. Beautiful. We just stopped for a quick pee break on our way to Reserva de los Flamingos. I hope you enjoyed those shots of the llamas. Pretty epic. Oh, Isabel? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful what did you think of the flamingos? Or no, sorry, the llamas. Yeah, they're cool animals. So fluffy. <laughs> so fluffy. And See? They have little babies too. Super. Te, te gusta las llamas. <laughs> and uh, I think we're about 4,000 meters now as you guys can see the terrain is changing some more we have this fog cloud like thing in the distance awesome all right let's check out these flamingos All right, guys. Um, unfortunately, we didn't make it to the Flamingo Reserve. As you need a four-wheel drive to get down there, and we have a front-wheel drive SUV, so we kind of skipped out on that. Well, we were on the edge of the Flamingo Reserve, so we didn't get to see some flamingos, beautiful llamas there. But we're checking out Salar de Terra. Quite the spot here. We have a guy in a red truck. I have a feeling that they're following us. I have the. Yeah. Oh, maybe you went to go help that guy. Yeah, there's a guy there, he got stuck. So, and our rental is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's on the top of the hill. And there's Wanakos hanging around there. So if you guys ever come to Salt Flats and you want to drive down, be responsible. Stay on the higher ground or you'll end up like this guy. And now this guy's stuck, see? Yeah. Exactly what I was talking about. Exactly. Do not lose the higher ground. Advice is with Mike. Yep. Driving advice with Mike. <laughs>
we thought it would be funny to drive to the border of Argentina. And that's Argentina in a the distance there. No? <laughs> that was fun. So from Salar de Terra, we drive another like 20 minutes, not even. And you end up here at the border. Spanish-speaking subscribers. Valle del Arco Iris. And? In English, Rainbow Valley. <laughs> and you don't pay, it's free. Yes, it's free. So, let me just get a panoramic of what this place looks like. Very, very unique rock formations. Basically, it looks like we're on an alien planet. It's very, very cool. All the tour buses are here, and you got this, uh, I don't know if it's rock or it's like a clay, it's a very soft material these things are made out of. All right, let's press on. Find their sweetheart. I don't know, it looks like, can't tell if it's chunks, ugh, chunks of glass or... Because underneath is like mud. Yeah. There's this, but I'm not... It's like chunks of glass or quartz, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert in rocks, so... Me neither, you guys can see it here. I even look, it's like it's all, it's all, it's all just on the surface. See? Let me zoom a little bit. Shoop. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but you have this little shiny dots everywhere all over these mounds. Salty Lagoons, that's correct. <laughs> and the other one is, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Kind of where those two people are walking, there's one more there. Very unique place, very salty. And it's really hot out here. And if you want to bathe, Ten thousand pesos, which is like twenty dollars Canadian. And afterwards, you can rest on these tables. Take the salt off. Yep. And there comes Nato. Oh, well, you had a thing. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little hut for the lifeguards. <laughs>
Día 2, ¿cierto? Sí. Día, pero uno haciendo cosas. Y uno de los beneficios de venir con las mamás en un viaje es que las mamás se comportan como mamás. Y cocinan rico, ¿sí? Está siguiendo estos bistocos y es por lo que en el horno, porque no? Tenemos parrilla. Pero no importa. Así que hoy día, un buen asado después de ir a visitar la reserva, que estuvo bastante bonito. Y eso por ahora. ¿Qué hora es? Como a las 4 y algo. Eso por ahora, así que... ¡Vivan las mamás! ¡Por ser siempre mamás! ¡Woo! ¿Ven que tienen? Tengo razón. Miren lo rico que se ve eso. Uh, una camita de cebolla con pimientos. La carnecita que, dice está, que ya se selló y esta ahí está. ¡Uh! ¡La la! ¡I am hungry! The dusty streets of San Pedro. You're probably wondering, what are we doing here? Good question. We're looking for a bar. Don't know if it has the directions. No, <coughs> Sorry. Keep going straight ahead. They that way? Find it. Yeah. If you guys ever come here, you have little shops like this. Open till past 10. Yeah, it's past 10. The guy's still open. So if you want to get a sweater or poncho, There you go. A couple dogs sneezing there. Food right on the way. <laughs> <laughs> And this is what the roads look like. Very oh my God, I'm really old school. So I said, I don't want <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> And Isabel's here to be our. Um, I'm the responsible one today. The responsible one. So you have to go out tomorrow. <laughs> This is where dogs sleep, by the ATM. <laughs> He's there. He's the security guard for BCI Bank. Exactly. That's what he's there for. Tea salon. I think we found our bar. We got our beers at this cool pub. Have a new friend. Day three. Today we're checking out some more lagunas. Um, this one is Lagunas de Ojos. Ojos de Salar. Sorry, Ojos de Salar. You can see there's one eye there. Sorry, Ojos means eyes in Spanish. One eye there and the other one's here. What's in store today, sweetheart? What's in store today? Yes. Well, this one, so we're gonna check out um, that way. That's another lagoon. That salt flat. I don't know if you guys can. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's right there. You got the salt flat. So we're going to check that out. Check out this cool village. There's Mama. Hola. 
Donato on his phone. <laughs> yeah. And it cost us 5,000 uh, pesos each to enter here, which is about $10. And that's the little, uh, the little hut, little information booth. Plus that's where you pay. And I'll show you guys a panoramic of this spot here. As you can see, we are definitely in a desert. <laughs> All right, let's check out some cool stuff today. Beautiful flamingos. How about you guys? How did you enjoy the flamingos? Beautiful. Yeah. Now we are at Aldea de Tu Olor. Why is it called Aldea de Tu Olor? Isabel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, that's a joke because that translates to village of your, of your smell. But that's not the name. I just thought I'd make a play on words. This is the, uh, what is the name of this place on a serious note? <laughs> ah, Tulor, right. Sorry, I completely forgot. And this is just a panoramic this area. Uh, that there is the edge of uh, Valle de la Luna. Over there, Moon Valley. Beautiful sky and clouds. And we have these beautiful uh, mountains slash volcanoes in the background. Pretty cool spot. So, let's check out these little huts. How are they? They used to live here back in the day. But I'm going to have to adjust my ISO. <laughs> Alright, let's check this place out. Adjust the ISO here a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. So we have a little fire pit. I'm sure these guys used to huddle around here back in the day, many, many years ago. Roof is made out of, uh, ah, this like desert bush. It's very, uh, very stiff. Oh, we got a little bench here as well. Some fur, most likely llama. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, it's so fresh in here. I know, eh? Yeah. Well, it makes it so much better. It'd be awesome if we could just start a fire here, just huddle around, wait for the stars to come out in the night sky. How's this other hut? Oh, that's like the real Oh, let's check it out. So this is the, I'm gonna assume this is for daytime. When it's not that cold. Got one center beam holding up the roof. That's what it looks like. And oh cool. Even even to you can see they use skins to tie to tie those poles together. No, wait a minute. Those skins are just hanging there. They're not tied to anything. Do you see these animal skins that they're... I thought they were using them to tie the sticks together. Oh, those two are tied together. Look, there's another one here. Ah, yeah, okay, here we go. Here's a better example. There we go, got it. I think this one was holding on to... This one is tied to this guy here. And then... 
all the, all the way around. So yeah. The, the tree is the base, is the foundation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this a skin of something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's skin of llama. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, to tie it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. If it just dries out, it stays here. Very smart <laughs> yeah, this, I bet this tree was here. Yeah. Perfect spot to put a little hut. Yeah, then just take everything else out. And that's it? That's a roof. That's it. Isabel taking a photo. Okay, well, that's the overview of uh, these little mud huts. I don't know what's the proper term for this. Mud hut? Clay. Clay hut? Clay hut. All right. Clay hut with a straw. It's not straw, though. I can't say that. This is that desert bush. That really stiff. Rica, rica. <laughs> is it down? No, that one has thorns. <laughs> yeah. Rica, rica. Okay, we're gonna head back outside. Can we do this? All right, so I've just been walking down this uh, little wooden uh, walkway here in those mud huts. Or, sorry, clay huts, they're just over there, the two of them. And this place leads to an awesome viewpoint. Check this out. This view is just unbelievable. All these mountains and volcanoes. Absolutely incredible. And then that's uh, Moon Valley again. What kind of things are you guys learning? Huh? What you learning? Uh, oh, it's about climate change. Ah. The climate changes. In the area. That forever changed this landscape yep. into what it is today. Got a lot of very old stone tools here. And these ones, ancient pots. Let's check it out. Like natural gas? No.
Whoa! <laughs> it is day four and it's super chilly, plus two right now. And we're at El Tatio Geysers? Yeah, the Tatio Geysers. Tatio Geysers. And they're boiling right there. When they're boiling, oh, look at this. We don't have light. Oh. There's not much light. It's only six in the morning. Uh. Oh my god, it's so cool. Gonna hang around this hot pool for now and try to warm up. No. All right, we are right by this pool because the hot steam is coming towards us. And we're trying to warm up. <laughs> if you don't bring enough layers, this is good. Yeah. Stand by the steam. It's warmed up a bit now. <laughs> what, the temperature? Yes. Do you feel warmer? Uh, yeah. I, How you? about you? Yeah. Yeah. Warmer? Yeah, me too. Are you warmer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See? See? <laughs> See? <laughs> 